Hi, my intuitive tribe. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing really, really well um, and had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. My family came out, my mom, and so that was really nice. And I needed it and it was just kind of humble and relaxing and just super nice. Um, so I took the weekend off and had a lot of time to think about stuff and what I wanted to do next and how I was gonna do it and everything and I'm just gonna go with the flow. And I just really didn't plan anything. I just made sure I had all the information I needed and I'm going to do as I usually do and call in the divine and my protectors, my guides. And so we will be doing that. Um, this is super cute. My mom brought up as a gift and I'm like in love with it. Dream. I love it. I even named my kitty Dreamer. <laughs> and so I love this. This is so cool. And I wish uh, I could get a little bit better set up in my own room and everything. And we're trying to buy a house at some time when it's right. And so hopefully I'll get my own reading room right. And I wanted to also show you guys that I've made quite a few dream catchers. This one's actually mine and it's actually been a long time since I've made dream catchers, but um, it was like my hobby and I've done so many different things. I've learned belly dance. I've made jewelry. I've made dream catchers. Um, just many different things. I'm always creative and so I thought I'd share that with you guys. That's just one of them. That's mine. And so, yeah, um, I'm just trying to think. Oh, yeah. And my mom got me this super cute um, hanging sign. It says, welcome bees and butterflies. I love it so much. If I can show you. Here we go. Welcome bees and butterflies. It is so cute. I love it so much. And yeah, um, but yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, um, I've been real quiet the past few days and just taking everything in and, you know, all that good stuff. But anyway, um, today is going to be about um, the unsolved case of Crystal and Kylan, and they were from living in Moab and so um, they were found on August 18th of 2021 and it's still unsolved and so I've done a few readings on them before but of course they were not recorded and so I better do that. Um, I wrote all the information down that is up to date about their case and my questions as usual, my notes. And so I believe I will, I will read um, the case. And um, after that, I will move on to a prayer. And my sage and I brought my sweet grass out and um, my singing bowl. Last time I forgot my singing bowl. And so, sorry, I'm a little slower. I'm just kind of honing in. Um, okay, so I'll start reading. Um, even though this information is on the web and uh, all that, um, I'm gonna start off by saying all of this information is for entertainment purposes only. And um, all this information comes from my intuitive mind and um, crystal medicine. I'm wearing my other necklace. It matches my shirt so well, my rose quartz. I love it. It's like perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love it. Okay, here we go. Crystal and Kailen. Um, yeah, they were found on August 18th, 2021. Um, they were living at a campsite in Moab. Kylan Schultz 
and Crystal Turner. They were married for about four months. They both were killed by gunshot wounds. They had last been seen alive five days earlier. Um, Kylan was born September 5th, 1996, and she was born in Vail, Colorado. Crystal was born on December 30th, 1982, Hot Springs, Arkansas. And um, they both were last seen on August 13th at a bar in Moab. Uh, they were seen deeply in love. They had last been in contact three days prior with a friend who was local. That friend received a phone call from Kylan's father who lives in Montana. Uh, the father reported that the couple had moved to their campsite due to a creeper dude who they were scared of. The friend went looking for Kylan and Crystal's campsite in the La Salle Mountains near Moab on August 18th, 2021. She was on the phone with Kylan's father when she discovered Kylan's remains. The friend later told reporters that she feared for her safety and after discovering Kylan's remains, she called the police and did not continue to search for Crystal. Crystal's remains were, were also discovered undressed from the waist down in a creek close to the campsite. With multiple gunshot wounds on their backs, sides and or chest, Responding police found a Kia Sorento, that was their vehicle, a camping tent, long-term camping tools and supplies. They obtained a search warrant for another vehicle, a 1987 Ford e Eco Econoline that had been left in the parking lot and later towed. Inside, they found personal documents and a Bible. In October 2021, authorities, um, had a search warrant to investigate a cell tower at Jimmy Keene Flats near the campsite between August 13th and 15th, only for phones within a two mile radius of the crime scene. An anonymous local business contractor and a local private lending company have both offered separate $10,000 rewards for any information about the case of as of November, 2021. That's amazing what people will do. In January, 2022, the police announced they had identified a person of interest in the case, but he was cleared the following month. In March, 2022, a PI, private investigator, who volunteered to help Kylan's father claimed that law enforcement had obtained an audio recording from near the crime scene on which gunshots and screaming can be heard. Authorities admitted to the audio's existence and confirmed that gun gunshots can be heard on it, but did not confirm the screams. The PI also alleged that the audio was recorded at 11.35 a.m. on August 14th, 2021, the morning after Kylan and Crystal were last seen alive. Police confirmed the date, but would not reveal the time of day. There has been speculations that suspected Brian Landry might be connected to the murders. Um, this is pretty well known. On August 12th, 2021, the day before Kylan and Crystal were last seen alive, Landry was confronted by police for allegedly slapping Gabby Petito in front of the Moonflower Community Cooperative in Moab, where Kylan worked as a cashier. Law enforcement ruled out any connection between the two cases. <clears throat> Updated March 17th, 2022. Coworkers in Moab had reported the newlyweds missing on August 15th when both women failed to show up for their shifts. They were married for only four months. They lived out of their van, had a pet rabbit. August 13th, while Kylan and Crystal were out with friends, that night, Kylan told them a creepy man had been lurking around their campsite and harassing them. Two other friends, she texted a warning that, quote, if something happened to them, that they were murdered by him, end quote. A number of potential suspects have been identified and cleared, and now the investigator's speculation is that the women weren't killed the night of August 13th but the next morning in broad daylight. Kylan's father and the PI, Jason Jensen, 
believe the key to finding the killer could lie within somebody's memory card. The case remains active. Investigators ask anyone who may have any information about the killings, call them at. Um, I have the number, I'm not sure if I can say that on here. I will list uh, that information in the description. And then, um, okay, so yeah, I have my notes, my questions. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all that they have. Um, the story from Crystal's, or Kylan and Crystal's friend, um, she's the one that found Kylan um, and went searching for him and was on the phone with Kylan's father. And um, her story, just, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. And so, uh, prayers to her and to Kylan and Crystal's loved ones, for sure. So I just have to say that um, off the bat. And uh, yeah, so let's start off now with a prayer. And I will use my crystal ball to do that. And uh, here we go. Dear divine and protectors, including ancestors of the light. I thank you so much for helping me and others, so many others be able to try to bring awareness to these cases, to these victims and their loved ones and helping bring this awareness to bring justice for them. Thank you so much for helping guide me to create this channel so like-minded, intuitive people can come together and share and understand the best of our abilities and bring this awareness. Thank you for these abilities, this intuition you've given each of us helping us connect. Thank you for the tools. Thank you for the connections. Thank you for guiding, protecting me and my family and everybody who's watching. And I ask that you'll please guide and protect each of our inner and outer lives from here on out against anything negative, unholy, deceptive, dangerous, in any way, shape, or form, even unholy, uh, lies, unhealthiness, and anything evil in any way, I ask for their protection and guidance. I ask that you'll please help the truth come through and nothing but the truth. Please help walk me through these cards help me be able to discern. Please help me be able to understand these cards with the answers you give me. Please help me be able to ask the right questions to receive the answers that would bring light on these cases, especially this case now, here and now, Kylan and Crystal. Please help us be able to receive the answers and be able to put the pieces together the best way possible so we can help. Thank you so very much for these abilities, these tools, these blessings and miracles. Thank you for the abundance and joy, the mindfulness and awareness and spirituality and intuition. I thank you so very much. I ask for these blessings and miracles for me and my family and everybody who's watching. Thank you so very much. And I ask Archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Chamuel, to please guide me, my family, and everybody who's watching, protect us, give us the knowledge, surround us with your pure light, and guide us and protect us. Keep us safe, healthy, strong. And I thank you again. Amen.
Okay. I feel like I had to switch it up a little bit. All right. Okay. I will light our good stuff. <laughs> I'm going to do sage and the sweet grass today. Usually I'll do the Palo Santo. But I'm going to do the sage and sweet grass. Cleanse out any energy we do not need that is um, that, that we don't want part of this reading and bring in the energy we do want, information we want, the truth that we want, justice, right? So I'm a little slow, guys. I'm getting there. <laughs> All right, I'll let that burn. And then we will remember to do our single. Again, cleanse the energy out we don't want. Bring in the energy we do want. Mmm, smells so good. I love it. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to ding it. So just to let you know, I'm going to do it three times. Cleanse this energy out we do not want. So three, two, one. Okay. All right. There's my selenite talent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed that and felt the connection. I really want to be, uh, feel that connection with you guys. Um, and I do, I do. So timeless, timeless prayers, timeless energy, right? And so it doesn't matter when you're watching this. Um, when we do this, the prayers and the singing bowl, and just this energy is so timeless so connected we're like connected you know and uh we share this together and so yeah all right um i think that is it uh we will pull a blessing card and then start our questions um so here we go again all this information is for entertainment purposes only and all this information comes from my intuitive mind can we get a blessing card for this reading for Kylan and Crystal. Please and thank you. I think a blessing card from Archangel Michael's beautiful cards. Thank you. Ooh, wow. Introspection. Your angel guidance is to find quiet space for contemplation and look within. It is time to withdraw and review your life. Taking time and space for yourself gives you an opportunity to recuperate from life's challenges, to reflect on the way ahead, strengthen yourself and prepare for the next phase of your life. During times of introspection, you can be aware of your gifts, your inner reserve and your wisdom. It is a time for healing. Still your mind and quiet in your emotions. Ask for your angel's wings to unfold you and provide you with a safe haven in which to relax. Then you can listen to the promptings of your angel insp inspiring and guiding you. Affirmation, I claim time and space for myself. That's interesting. We were just talking about how time is, um, it is timeless with energy, right? So there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we will start with, mm, I think we should start with the Magical Nordic Tarot. All right, so my first question, I'm sorry if you don't like certain words I may use. Um, but I gotta be as real as possible with my words and pretty detailed when I ask these questions. 
I've got to be very detailed and clear so nothing can get mixed up, you know, with the questions and stuff. So my first question is, did the killer follow Kylan and Crystal around before they murdered them? Did the killer follow Crystal and Kylan before murdering them? One just flips completely sideways. Oh, two did. Wow, that's weird. That's really bizarre. We've got the emperor and the high priestess, two major arcanas. The emperor's divine masculine uh, male influence. Um, it can be a leader, um, take charge. It says on here maturity and there's a owl. He's sitting on his throne and this is in Aries energy. Wow, and then the high priestess is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, it says empowerment on the card, and she sees things. Uh, it could be psychic. It could be intuition, channeling. Um, she who seeth but or knoweth but does not speak it sometimes. Um, it looks like duality with the black cat and the white cat, and it looks like... Um, She's got the world on a table and some bird on her shoulder. Empowerment. Wow. Okay, so. Okay, what is this emperor? What is this emperor? Because I asked, did they follow Crystal and Kylan around before murdering them? What is this emperor? Because I want to get emperor and high priestess. But first, let's do this emperor. There we go. What's this emperor about? Hmm, death. Death. Um, can be Scorpio energy. Death, rebirth. Wow, that's interesting. So I believe, yeah, this emperor takes charge, leader, took charge with death. Okay, can you show me what this high priestess is with the murderer following them before murdering them? Wow. Wow. Oh, this is four major arcanas. I got the Empress. This is just crazy. The Empress is the Divine Feminine. And um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Nurturing. It says nurture. Giving birth to something. Um, or pregnant. Pregnant with like an idea. Oof. So that's really interesting. Okay, I'm going to get another deck and I want to elaborate on this. Can you show us? Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Um, on this Empress card, there's rabbits. Kylan and Crystal had a rabbit. There's three rabbits. Wow. Named Ruth. That's really interesting. Okay, I was just getting um, the Divine Tarot out. Wow. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, he was following him around for sure. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is already powerful. I'm just weird today. So I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm Okay, um, did this, okay, I'm going to call him, did this creepy man, because they refer to him as a creepy man, did this creepy man kill them like they claimed he would? Is it this creepy man they were talking about? 
is this murderer, the creepy man that they were talking about. Six of coins. That's six of pentacles. Huh. Six of pentacles. That's planting seeds. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Planting seeds to grow something out of it. Want something out of it. Yeah. Is that a white fox? That's gotta be a white fox. Sly fox. Planting seeds. There's like a bunch of beetles too. They look like box elder bugs. They really do. We have those in Utah. Um, I just got a nof notification from Romero. I'll have to look. Okay, here we go. Um, so yeah, I believe it was this creepy man, for sure, lurking around, creepy sly fox, planting seeds. Um, was this, was the killer camping near their campsite? Was this killer camping near their campsite? Whoa. Devil, what else did we get? Seven of coins, so seven of pentacles. So the devil can be Capricorn energy, but you know, devil's toxicity, addiction, possession, evil, malevolence. Male, um, yeah. Wow. Wow. And could be lurking around, sneaking around. A snake. Yeah. And then the seven of coins, seven of pentacles. Um, oh my gosh, I do this every time with pentacles, just six, seven, and eight of pentacles. <laughs> I believe this is working. Come on, Natalie, get it. Oh, sorry. Gosh, dang it. I do this all the time. Seven of pentacles is planting seeds. Oh, the six of pentacles is generosity. I'm so sorry. I really apologize. I do this every time. Um, six of pentacles is generosity, giving to two, but still that sly fox, right? Yeah. And then the seven of pentacles is planting the seeds. And I'll show you that. So we got the devil and planting seeds for um, him camping near their campsite. Which, yeah, oh yeah, I believe so. And then sneaking around that sly fox. Interesting, okay. Man, why do I do that all the time? Sorry. I gotta just get it through my head. <laughs> all right, let's see our next questions. Okay, what was the next one? And um, if I got a yes, did he move closer? when they moved their campsite. Um, first of all, did they move their campsite? Whoa. Two of coins, so that's two of pentacles. That's imbalance, juggling. Um, yeah, probably like wishy-washy. Yeah, it would be kind of like moving. So yeah, and then did he move closer when they moved their campsite? Did he move closer when they moved their campsite? Two cards. Oh, Ace of Swords, Aces is a yes, and Clarity, and then Eight of Coins, which is Eight of Pentacles, is working. So yeah, and then working, so yes, working to move closer. That's what I get. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Mmm. So freaking creepy, this energy. Okay, and then did, 
this killer wander through their campsite when they were gone? Did this killer wander through their campsite when they were gone? That was quick too. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune turning. Um, it's moving. It's fate, destiny, but it's the wheels turning. Yeah. Right. For sure. Lurking through the campsite. Yep. Um, did Kylan or Crystal get a good look at this killer? Did Kylan and Crystal get a really good look at this killer? Did Kylan and Crystal get a good look at this killer? Slash creepy man. Maybe it's time to get a new deck. Did they get a good look? Oh, we got one. The chariot. Okay, that's cancer energy. The chariot is movement, speed, action. So probably a quick glimpse of him. That's what I'm getting out of it, a really quick, because it's speed and action, full force. Yeah. Probably a quick, good look at him. Okay. All right. I'm going to put that deck away. Um, let's see what we got next. Did, did this killer have a full conversation? Um, I'm going to use... The muse. Did this killer have a full on conversation with Crystal and Kylan before they were murdered? Did Crystal and Kylan get a good or have a full on conversation with the murder? Did Crystal and Kylan have a full on conversation with this murder before they were murdered. The magician, wow. The magician is manifesting, creating something, mastering something. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um, it can be manipulating. Maybe uh, they were trying to um, talk him, like manipulating him to kind of like stop what he was doing or something, you know? Um, it, it, am I right? Were they trying to just have him stop what he was doing? Did they try to have him stop what he was doing before they were murdered? Oh, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure. Like, why wouldn't you? But I gotta ask. I have to ask. Did Crystal and Kylan try to stop him from what he was doing before they were murdered? Okay. The Fool. New beginnings. Leap of faith. Trust the fall. Um, spontaneous. Uh, yeah, I think this happened really quickly and they were just probably what I'm getting out of it is like kind of spontaneously like saying things to him. This is what I picture like, oh, you don't want to do that. Like, we're good. You don't worry about us. Like we can figure this out, you know, stuff like that. And so I think they took a leap of faith and tried the best they could. Then this is exactly what I get from this card. And I picture this as well. Calm him down. And that's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy as well. Those are two major arcanas um, together. Okay. Um, and then I have to ask, was this killer Brian Landry? I have to ask, was this killer Brian Landry? The sun... The sun can be a yes. The sun is Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. It's usually, it's abundance, success, happiness. 
everything you want in your life, but it's it can be a yes. Can you elaborate on this sun? If this was Brian Landry. Four of voices, which is four of swords laid to rest. Laid to rest. What the hell? Did I show you the sun? No. And the woman is meditating. She kind of reminds me of Gabby a little. And then four of voices, four of swords laid to rest. I did not expect this at all. I did not expect this at all. Maybe this is Gabby. Maybe we'll, you know what? I was thinking of doing a Brian Landry and Gabby Petito reading next. So this is probably what that is. I'm, I'm sure. Okay. All right. Um, was this killer homeless? Was this killer homeless? Nine of materials. Huh. That's like wish fulfillment or wish her to the universe. Not fulfillment yet. It can be overindulgence, though, as well. I asked if they were homeless. Overindulgence. She's out in the nature. Um, can you give me clarification? I got three cards. Okay. So we got seven of emotions, which is seven of cups. Fantasy dreamy eight of materials that's eight of pentacles is working mastering something and temperance sagittarius energy um divine timing celebration mixing of cups so we've got like an overindulgence in nature with the nine of materials and then we got eight of materials which is working trying to master something Then we've got seven of emotions, seven of cups, which is fantasy land, dreamy, living in the clouds. And then temperance, divine timing, celebration, mixing of cups. That's interesting. Okay, I've got more questions to go with that. Okay, um, we'll get there. Was this killer passing through Moab? Was this killer passing through Moab? Was this killer? Thank you. Hmm. Five of inspiration, five of wands, struggling, fighting, and then eight of inspiration, which is eight of wands. Hmm, that's quick and speed. So fighting, struggling with a speed, a quick, swift. Okay, five of wands, five of inspiration, fighting and struggling. And the eight of inspiration, eight of wands, that's speed and swift coming in hot. Okay, yeah, I think he's passing through. Struggling, passing through. I keep getting that he's homeless. So I'll ask again, is he homeless? Is this killer homeless? Okay. I totally missed my hand. All right, the wheel. The wheel is travel. Yep, that's homeless for me. That's a confirmation for me. Um, the wheel is travel. It could be um, completion, endings, um, 
karmic lessons, cycling through karmic lessons, but definitely travel. Oh, we got justice, Libra energy. Number 11, um, karma, trying to balance. It can be law, uh, court. And then page of voices, which is page of swords. Moving to, trying to move to a more solid ground with ideas. And it can be spying, watching, misleading. So the wheel for me is travel. Yes. Yes, that he's homeless. That was my question. And then justice, trying to balance. And moving, trying to move to more solid ground and spying. Spying, misleading, watching. Okay. Uh, yeah, watching him. Okay. Um, did he want something with them? What did he want with them? What did this killer want with Kylan and Crystal? Three of inspiration, which is three of wands. That can be making plans, embarking or trading, making plans. And the dominoes are falling. Making plans with them for sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to get another deck. What is, what is this plan? What is this making plans with Kylan and Crystal? What was his plan with Kylan and Crystal? This making of plans. Lights here's dead. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Okay, Ace of Pentacles is planting that seed to grow everything that you want or get what you want, uh, everything that you want. And the Three of Cups is celebration, hanging out, partying. So something tangible. Hmm. He wanted to make plans about something tangible it's a seed. And then three of cups is celebration, partying, hanging out. Oh, wow. Look at that. On this three of cups, um, the tattoo on her back. You see that? I hope it's clear. It's this right here. I just pulled this out today. It's just a copper wiring that was created somewhere where I went and visited and they gave it to me. Why did I pull this out today? I hope you can see that right there. Come on, it looks blurry. Wow, Mom, that's weird. Okay, so, yep, I just got done showing you. This is really odd. I was called to bring this out with this Three of Cups partying, celebration, hanging out. There's three energies, three energies. He wanted something with their energy. He wanted to combine something, plant a seed with them somehow, make plans. What is this? What did he want to combine? What did he want to combine? Hmm. Seven of Swords, it's liar, cheater, thiefer, sneaky, and strategic. And he's holding a knife. Stealing their crow feathers. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to move on to the Tarot of a Moon Garden. Did, I have to ask, did the killer... Hate gaze. Did the killer hate gaze? Got two. 
Hmm. Three of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. That's money, financial, tangible. Three of Pentacles is cooperation, contracts, commitment. And also another three. So three energies. And then Knight of Pentacles is the dark horse. Always finishes the race. Can be business offer. Um, or And leaving breadcrumbs too. Can be leaving breadcrumbs. But the dark horse wants to finish the race. Can be business offer. So I think he wanted some kind of... Uh, business deal cooperation contracts commitment and pinnacles is tangible it is definitely tangible financial did he want money from them did he want to make money with them i'm gonna rephrase that sorry did he want to make money with them Did he want to make money with them? That almost came out. Page of Swords. We got that before. Page of Swords. Trying to move to a solid ground. Can be spying and watching, misleading. Wanted to move to a solid ground with their help, by, but spying and watching them. What did he want from them? <sighs> there you go. Ten of Pentacles. Something financial, tangible. Ten of Pentacles. That's the most abundant financial and emotional life everything in your life structure with that bridge that's odd did he have a talk with them before they he murdered them did he have a talk with kylan and crystal before he murdered them Did he have a talk with Kylan and Crystal before he murdered them? Okay. All right. Was he wanting to steal from them? Was he wanting to just steal from them? Because we got that liar to your thiefer. Was he wanting to just steal from them? Death. Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords. Ace of Staffs. And I went kind of backwards with that. Aces is a yes. Ace of staffs is ace of wands. It's that aha, figured it out. And then nine of swords is anxiety, depression in your head. Can't eat, can't sleep, can't think. Nine of cups is that overindulgence or a wish her to the universe and death. There's the ace of wands. Aha, uh -huh, figured it out. In your head, can't eat, can't sleep, can't think. Nine of Cups, overindulgence with something. And death. Hmm. Was he using drugs? Page of staffs, page of wands. 
it can be um, something new, a message to take action, to expand more of what you already have. Took action. Something new to take action. Okay. Um, did he steal their money? Did he steal stuff from them? King of Pentacles. Tangible. Money. It could be possessions. Because King of Pentacles is the most financial abundant king. Solid, reliable, but 100% financial. Oh, yeah. I think uh, he took action and stole uh, money and maybe some other possessions from them. And I think that's exactly what he wanted. Okay. Um, did this killer show up unannounced? Which I'm sure he did. I just have to ask. Um, the easy tarot. Did this killer show up at Kylan and Crystal's campsite unannounced? Did this killer show up at their campsite unannounced the day of their murder? I'm going to say that. There we go. Did the killer show up at their campsite unannounced the day of their murder? Ace of Pentacles. Aces is a yes. Pentacles is financial, tangible. And then Six of Swords, moving to a calmer ground. Uh, moving out of troubled waters. Travel. And, oh, it looks like in this Ace of Pentacles, it's like this ferret, but he's got the colors of a fox. Yeah, definitely unannounced, which I pretty much already felt that, like, for sure. And trying to move out of troubled waters. Six of swords. Okay. Um, were Kylan and Crystal shocked by him showing up? because they kind of made it clear to some friends that they were like kind of expecting this. But were Kylan and Crystal shocked? I just have to ask these certain questions. Ace of Wands, of course, yep. Aces is yes, Ace of Wands, it's a ha, figured it out, take action. But yep, Ace, yes, of course they were shocked. Of course, right, I know. Um, did he force them out of their van before murdering them? Did he force them out of their van before murdering them? The fool. Yep, spontaneous, adventurous, beginnings, trusting the fall, leap of faith. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, yes. Spontaneous about it. Was he spying on them the morning of their murder? Was he spying on them the morning of their murder? Was he spying on them the morning of their murder? Seven of Swords. Another Liar, Cheater, Thiefer card. That's Seven of Swords. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's strategic and sneaky. Oh, for sure, watching and spying the morning before he murdered them. For sure. Definitely watching. 
okay? Um, were they arguing before he murdered them? Were th three of them arguing before he murdered them? There we go. The lovers and temperance. Two major arcanas. The lovers, what I would believe is them, uh, Kylan and Crystal, because that's a relationship. And then we got temperance, which is divine timing, mixing of cups. Um, Archangel Michael, protector of children, uh, angel guidance. Um, mixing of energies. The lovers is a relationship. And I believe that's Crystal and Kylan as a, as a two relationship. And then we've got temperance, which is also two cups that mix, uh, two energies mixing duality. Hmm. Okay. Well, with that, I just believe that Kylan and Crystal were just doing their own thing. They were just them two, and I don't think there was really um, argument, um, but I do believe, like earlier in the cards, that they tried to kind of like manip manipulate him to stop what he was doing. So yeah, I think that for sure. All right, um, I want to go back to the Tarot of a, the Divine. Um, did this killer creep tell them, sorry guys, warning, um, I'm going to list this on the video as well. Um, did this killer creep tell Kylan and Crystal to undress before murdering them? Did he tell them to undress before murdering them? Queen of Wands. Okay. Queen of Wands. <sighs> Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. She's a go-getter. Um, takes charge. Um, reclaims her power, um, takes action, runs her world well. Yeah, I think he did tell them, took action, um, and it can be communication, reclaim power in the volcano in the background. It's just about to explode. Mm. No gender in the tarot. Okay. Did the killer creep tell Crystal and Kylan to start walking towards the creek? Did he tell them to start walking towards the creek? Okay, I think we got three cards. Okay. We've got six of swords. Moving out of troubled waters. Moving to a calmer ground. Travel. Page of Cups, something new. Um, uh, could be young, immature. That's a stinky offer. And there's a rabbit. Stinky offer. And then page. Oh, another page. Page of Wands. That's something new. Uh, immature. Young. Um, coming in to take action to expand what you have, take action. So we got the Six of Swords, moving out of troubled waters, travel, they're in a river, and then the Page of Cups, a stinky offer, look at that rabbit, stinky offer, and then take action, take action, something new. Yeah, I think, um, gave him a stinky offer to move 
take action towards the creek. Um, okay, back to the magical Nordic tarot. All right. Um, oh, did he immediately have his gun pulled on Crystal and Kylan? Did he immediately have his gun pulled on Crystal and Kylan? Did he immediately have his gun pulled on Crystal and Kylan? Thank you. Seven of Cups. Um, that's the fantasy, dreamy, and it says choices. And it can be confusion. Confusion. Was he confused about his choices? That's what it sounds like. Did he immediately have his gun pulled on Crystal and Kylan? Hmm. Charity. Generosity. Generosity. What the heck? His choices with his generosity. This guy sounds psycho. Oh. Um, does he have a previous record with violence? Did the killer have a, does, sorry, does the killer have a previous record with violence? We got six of pentacles. That's generosity. Gifts. That's interesting. Six of pentacles, gifts. Well, I think so. I get a yes with that. I think plenty of them. Um, is, does he have a previous record with drugs? Does he have a previous record with drugs? Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. There we go. I saved it. Does he have a previous record with drugs? Got a few. Page of Cups, stinky offer. The world, travel. Ace of Wands. I did it backwards again. Ace of Wands is a yes. Aha, figured it out. New adventures. Take action. Hmm. Well, yeah. He has a previous record with violence and drugs. That's a yes for me. And then we've got the world, which is travel, motivation, endings and beginnings, cycling through karmic lessons. Maybe he travels around the world has a uh, previous records in different places and then page of cups is um st a stinky offer and it says playfulness there's a white polar bear in the background hmm yeah i think he has a previous record with drugs and violence okay is he married is the killer married is the killer married? Five of Pentacles. Nope, nope, I do not get he's married. Five of Pentacles, it says emotional withdrawal in this card. This is feeling left out in the cold or being left out in the cold. So no, he is not married. No. Okay. Um, has he been to jail slash prison? 
Has he been to jail or slash prison? The Magician. The Magician is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. This is mastering, um, creating. It can be manipulation. And it's, he has all of the, um, he's got the wands, the pentacles, the cups, the swords. Hmm. That's a yes for me. Has, okay, I'm going to go to the Wild Unknown Pocket Tarot. Um, I want to know if he's been in jail slash prison in Utah. Because that's, that's a yes for me, the magician. Oh, so tiny, tiny. Okay. Has he been to jail in Utah? Oh. Six of Cups. That's um, don't let your past hold you back. It can be childhood, childhood memories. Don't let your past hold you back. That's record, right? Record, previous record. With the magician. Um, is this record all in Utah? Okay, I'm gonna rephrase this. Is this, is his previous records mostly in Utah? Is his previous records mostly in Utah? Thank you. The chariot, that's a yes for me. The chariot is a cancer energy. It is um, speed, action. Um, it can be mixing uh, opposing energies well but it's uh, speed and action. We've got that a couple times. A chariot. A chariot. A chariot. I think it's mostly in Utah. All right. Um. Let's see. Is he in Moab? Is he in Moab right now? Is a killer in Moab right now? Father of Swords. That's King of Swords. He's an owl and the sword is like rainbow. That's weird. So um, this can be Lawman. It can be uh, him seeing things in black and white, cutting through the truth. Um, justice protects his emotions. King of Swords. He's holding the sword and it's rainbow. And he's an owl. The heck? Hmm. I don't know if that's him living in Moab right now. Uh, no? Is he living in Utah right now? Hmm. Son of Swords now. That's Knight of Swords. That's rash, um, quick action. Very reckless. And then we got death. I think it's saying that he was really rash, reckless, took quick action about this death. But I want to know, is he... Okay, I'm going to get a different deck. Let's do the light seers again. Is he living in Utah, please? Is he living in Utah, please? Is he living in Utah? Hmm. 
Hmm. I ain't getting nothing. Is he? What is that noise? I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Okay. Is he near Moab right now? Is he near Moab right now? Eight of Cups. No. This is walking away. Eight of Cups. No. He's not near Moab. No. She's walking away with nothing. Right there. Is he near Salt Lake City, Utah? Is he near Salt Lake City, Utah? My goodness. Is he near Salt Lake City, Utah? Thank you. Hmm. Two of Swords. Um, difficult decisions. And it looks like she's got that um, tattoo and it looks like the scales kind of like the Libra sign. Um, difficult decisions. Maybe it would between two different places. Does he move between two different places? Does he move between two different places? What's this? The moon. Hmm. The moon is Pisces energy. Um, it is subconscious. It is unknown, unseen, hidden. But on here, it's got the, a black wolf and then a white wolf on each side of the moon, under the moon. So we got like the two crows, two swords, difficult decisions, and I asked if he goes from two different places and we got the moon. It's unseen, hidden. Um, it adds up to nine, which is almost a uh, wish fulfillment. Um, it's under the moon and there's the black wolf and the white wolf on each side. So that's uh, like unseen, hidden, um, under the moon between two different places. So I'm wondering, does he move between these two places in the middle of the night? That's under the moon. Let's do the easy tarot. Does he move in the night between these two different places? Does he move in the night? Oh my goodness, no. These ones are so slick. Okay. Does he move between these two different places in the middle of the night, at night? Two cards. Knight of Wands, King of Swords. King of Swords, again. So that's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. It could be Lawman. It could be seeing things in black and white. There's another two duality. Um, the Watchers, um, Justice, protects his emotions. And then... The Knight of Wands, which is um, quick in and out. So yeah, and then look, that King of Swords, it's nighttime. It's dark. I think he moves between two different places in the night and it's the Knight of Wands is quick in and out. Very, very quick in and out. Wow. Wow, okay. Um, gosh, we will do location for him. Um, uh, I do have another question. Let's do, you know what? I'm going to do the easy tarot again. I'm going to stick with this. Um, was he alone when he murdered Crystal and Kylan? Was he alone? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Hmm. The magician for the third time. Yeah. Yep. Alone. And they talked about one creepy man. So yeah, he was alone. The magician. 
um, manipulating, manifesting, creating mastery. Look at, he looks very like he's trying to hypnotize you. Wow. Yeah, he was alone. Okay. Um, okay, so let's do location of where he is. I want to kind of get a narrow area of where he is. Um, and I'll start that with another video and then I'll merge these together. So I'll be back.